Today in After Effects, we're going to take a look at how to make this kinetic type effect. As you can see, each letter fades on screen at a time and scales down slightly. So to start off, go ahead and go up to Composition and make a new composition that is 1920 by 1080 pixels and click OK. So after that, we're going to need to get some type out on the stage, so go ahead and go up to your top menu bar and grab your text tool and then feel free to type out whatever you like. I'm going to be typing out RCG Tutorials. Now after that we need to go down to our text layer and then open up the drop down. Now the option that we are looking for is the little triangle labeled animate. Now go ahead and click on this triangle to open up the menu and then select scale. So then go ahead and click back on your text layer and then click the animate menu again and select opacity. We should now have two separate text animators that we can use to affect each letter of our word. So we're going to go ahead and start with our scale animator so make sure and open up the range selector option for that animator. Now if this is your first time using any of these text animators, I highly recommend just playing around with the different properties of each to see how they affect your text. But the one that we're going to focus on is the offset of the range selector. So go ahead and click the stopwatch for the offset property and make a keyframe at the beginning of your timeline and make sure to set its value to negative 100%. Now after that, move out on your timeline about a second and a half and move your offset value to positive 100 to make another keyframe. Now the last step for this animator is to raise up your scale to about 140%. Now feel free to really crank up the scale if you want to exaggerate the scale down effect. So next we're going to head over to our second animator so that we can adjust the opacity. Now again make sure and open up your range selector options so that we can adjust the offset. Now for the offset on this animator we're going to want to move out on our timeline about a half a second and then set a keyframe with a value of 0%. Then move out to about the end of our animation and then set another keyframe for a value of 100. Lastly, you want to take the opacity value and lower it all the way to 0%. Now this essentially sets the opacity to 0 for the letters that aren't included by the offset. So when the offset changes, then the letters fade in. This is the same way that the scale animator works as well. Now keep in mind that you can move around and adjust the timing on the opacity keyframe so that it works appropriately with your scale timing. Now also, feel free to select all of your keyframes and then press F9 to apply easing for a more natural animation. Now the real benefit of making this effect in this way is that if you wanted to change what the type says or even the overall scale, it's as simple as grabbing your type tool and then making the changes. The effect still works the same way. So that about wraps it up for this kinetic type effect. If you enjoyed this After Effects tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.